I might have a solution for you. Really easy, that will help you to count the money without having to count them. The only thing you will need is a cup. What I, cons what I suggest is try to buy the lightest cup possible so it won't affect much on the weight. And you need a weighting scale. I have this one that I use in my kitchen, which is really simple to use and pretty precise. And you simply need all of your coins. What are you going to do? It's simply weight one single coin for each type. And I'm talking about the, the pound coin. So I'm going to weight the two pound coin, the one pound coin, the 50p, the 20p, and the 10p. I will leave the copper one on the side. I don't really count them as coins. And uh, then every time you need to see how much coin do you have, you have just to put in a cup all the coin of the same size and the same value, divided the weight you have by the weight of a single coin and you will have the amount of money, the amount of coins you have in your single cup. If you divided that by the value of the coin, it will make your life much easier. Now, I'll show you how to do it. Now I will show you uh, simply how to do it, so you don't have to do it yourself and you can simply take note of the weight of the single coin. And I forgot before the 5p coin, and so we're gonna try to wait, we're gonna wait all of them and then I will write in the description the weight of the single coin so it will make your life easier. I will start with a two pound coin which I went already to try and on my weighting scale it, it is 12 grams. Now I have the one pound coin which is let's try it's 10 gram on my weighting scale then i have the 5p 50p coins which weight is 50p coins which on the weighting scale is 8 grams then i have the 20p which are five grams on my weighting scale the 10p is five grams two and last but not the least we have the 5p coin which are four grams now i will give you a test with the two pound coin to see how it works we are just to make sure that I won't put any other coin on the cup, I simply wrote with a black marker the kind of coin that is going to go in this cup and then I will put them on my shelf and now I will try, I will show you first of all how much this cup weight so we're gonna take the weight of the cup out of the um, the total weight so we have only the, uh, the the weight of the coins inside the cup and this cup is weighting two grams so i will put the two pound coins cup on it and is 63 grams since we said previously that one two pound coin weights uh, 12 grams um, dividing obviously 60 by 12 we should have five two pound coin which are exactly the number of coins i had in my cup and to um, in case you have any doubt i try to weight both the old one pound coin and the new one pound coin and they exactly weigh the same and i will give you an example let me just grab one new and one old pound coin we have the old pound coin here and it weighs nine grams and i have the new the new 
one pound coin here and it weighs nine gram two so as you can see it doesn't matter if you still have the old one or the new one they still weigh the same which makes your life easier so i hope this trick it will help you in counting how much money you have in your piggy bank and i will immediately start doing it because i can't be bothered to count every time and have a good evening and again i hope it's, be, it's going to be useful bye bye you are as tired as i am of if you if you are tired as i am <clears throat> of counting all your coins you have left in your piggy banks and counting all of them and after that adding them divided no